All right, guys. Stevie Cheese here. Doing work uh, changing the mechanical fuel pump on a 1958 Jeep Willie. Or Willie's Jeep, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> All right. And the first thing about this, see, this guy had an old school, well, not old school. I, I would think it'd be a newer replacement type. Doesn't have the glass bowl top, as you can see. New, old, new, old. All right, it's the easiest trick. Let me show you. The fuel pump's not working. You can't prime or anything. This guy was smarter. He had a clear fuel filter up top, so he'd know when he's not getting fuel. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, let me see if I can set my phone somewhere and show you. All right, this is bad. I shouldn't. Hopefully you can still see me. All right, so as you can see, lots and lots of play and no noise. There's not even a hard part there. All right, that's the old one, no good. All right, new one. You listen, hear the noise. That means the diaphragm inside is actually doing what it's supposed to. Okay? That means diaphragm. And this one is probably most likely dried out, cracked, and just not enough there to do any suction. Okay? <clears throat> In case you guys don't know how these work, this rides directly on a lobe on the cam. Alright? That lobe is specifically designed, I believe, just for the pump itself. Okay? So as the cam's rolling, it just goes... That's it. That's your fuel pump. No electronic motor or nothing. You know, can't be any simpler. Unfortunately, waiting on a bolt because last one, somebody snapped one. So as soon as I took one bolt out, the whole thing was loose already. All right. And a lot of people ask this question, and I do mean a lot of people. Should you use silicone on your gasket? Yes, you definitely should use real good silicone on your gasket. Not that cheap shit. Don't try to use an alternative because this is directly on the block. It's really hot, hit with a lot of oil, so you don't want oil going through. You can silicone it, I mean, however, you can glob it on there. That's if that's what you really want to do to be sure. Um, it's fair warning. You might be better off making gasket from gasket material because these gaskets suck. I don't know if they're just older than shit. I don't know where this fuel pump came from. Customer bought it, but... The gasket is cracking real easy. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's completely sealed. Both sides, wood silicone. See, it should look like that. You should see no more green. Yeah, you can see little speckles. That ain't going to hurt nothing. Because this is all, once you actually bolt this in and squeeze it, all that's going to be sealed 100%. So no leaks, okay? But like I said, now I'm just waiting on a bolt. There's a spacer in there, so we're gonna put it back just because it was already there. I'm pretty sure it's not even needed. I'm pretty sure it had something to do with this one. But, you know, there's I can't find a manual or anything online that'll tell me whether, you yeah, know, the levers appear to be same in length. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take this gasket off. At least just so I can see this. Okay, so it appears if we go flush. Hmm. All right, so pretty sure do not need that on there. <clears throat> you can always double check, stick your finger in the pump hole, feel against the cam, feel if there's anything that would limit this. I don't think there is, okay. So I will conclude this video. Now that you know how to do it, I gotta get back to work and actually do it. <laughs> and can't be distracted by the video. All right.